cooking. It's like you put a bunch of stuff together, you put it in the oven and out comes a surprise. And you can make savory and sweet. Right now, I'm starting with something sweet. The gooeyest, most irresistible cinnamon rolls ever. So I'm going to start with a starter. I have two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast and then I'm going to mix it with a half a cup of lukewarm water and three quarters of a cup of lukewarm milk. Now, the yeast will not react if you soak it in a liquid that's too hot or too cold. It needs to be, as we say in Spanish, tibio, in between. And I'm gonna add a tablespoon of sugar because the yeast thrives with sugar. It's just gonna make it wake up. I am diluting the yeast, just making sure there's no lumps. I didn't always love baking. I used to think that that was something that you needed to be very meticulous and precise about. And I'm a messy cook, but I started getting into baking too, and I realized I can also have my personality in it, and it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm gonna let these mixtures sit here about 10 minutes. Now, we'll need four cups of flour. And then I'm going to lightly beat two eggs. Adding a pinch of salt, a half a cup of sugar, a half a cup of melted butter, and then I'm going to add my yeast starter. So you can see how the yeast starter now has bubbles. It's foamy. That's what you want. And then we're just gonna mix these. For me, when I think about baking, I'm going to make something that's special. And it may be a little bit of extra effort, just because you have to be in that frame of mind. My boys know it's something special, and Danny knows it's something special, and that you care. So the dough is looking good, but now I have to knead it. We want it to be malleable, soft, and smooth. All these rules that people tell you about baking, then you realize when you try it, you can do it your way. It's that thing about baking. You get into something and you enjoy your time in the kitchen. You're active and then you enjoy the process. Okay, so the dough, which is now really looking good, needs time to sit. I have a bowl here that I buttered and it's gonna rest for about one hour and a half until it doubles in volume. Okay, so I'm getting ready to stuff those cinnamon rolls and my dough, yay, it puffed. And you can see how it transformed. These dulce de leche rolls have become such a big thing in our family that we have started a Thanksgiving tradition. We make them every year, morning after Thanksgiving. It shows a lot of what immigrants bring to the American table, because you have the very American cinnamon rolls stuffed with the very Latin dulce de leche, and it's a delicious combination. And I think that's what Thanksgiving is all about, right? And now I'm going to make a thick, thick layer of dulce de leche right in the center. Just wait till you see this thing. I love morning foods, especially on a holiday or on the weekends when you have time to linger at the table. Mm. Mm -mm. Then I'm gonna sprinkle pecans. I mean, so you have the dough that is gonna be nice and fluffy and you have the sticky and the sweet and the caramelly and very rich dulce de leche. And then I'm adding canela or cinnamon. And butter. When you're baking, you put these things in the oven 
and then it's that time of waiting and anticipation and then when you take it out usually a beautiful delicious surprise okay so now i'm gonna roll as tightly as i can because now we're making the rolls mm. you know how good this is gonna be all that gooey crunchy buttery cinnamon is in there I'm going to brush a little bit of water on the edge so the dough will stick in the end. Okay, I think this is one of my favorite sweet recipes. Look at this. You want to eat it right now. Stand them up in a pre-buttered baking dish. Everything has been fun here and I cannot begin to tell you how nice it feels to cut into this log. I mean, how pretty are these? Cover them with a towel and leave them in the area of your kitchen where your dough likes to sit and they're gonna rest for about an hour. Now let me check my rolls. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous! The rolls have puffed. So you see how they doubled their volume? how heavenly they look, just wait. My oven is at 350 and these are gonna go in there for 25 to 30 minutes. We need a glaze for the cinnamon rolls. So I have two tablespoons of butter and a third of a cup of sweetened condensed milk. And I'm going to add a third of a cup of confectioner sugar. This is such a great glaze because it has the two different kinds of sweet, then it has vanilla, simple recipe, but it has a lot of flavor because I add fresh squeezed lime juice that just cuts across from the sweetness and it makes it fresh. So two tablespoons. Add the melted butter. We have a gorgeous, really nicely balanced glaze. So I want it thick enough so that it'll cover the cinnamon rolls, but I also want it to fall all over it. It's like the perfect consistency for me. And I think my rolls are ready. Make room for the grand, grand cinnamon rolls. And are they grand? Just look at these. And it smells beautiful. This makes baking so worthwhile. I mean, you feel like an artist. And this is a beautiful part too. Wait until they cool down, but you don't have to wait. We should open up a Dulce de Leche cinnamon roll shop. Oh, did you see how fluffy that is? Mmm. 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 Mm -hmm -hmm. How soft are these? Mmm. Mmm. 